Welcome, this is the latest video in my series on the FL Sun Q5 3D printer. And I'll put a link to the hardware and filament that I'm using on Amazon. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my FL Sun playlist where you can find my other videos. So in this video, I'm going to go over printing a vase using the vase mode or the spiralized outer contour mode on Cura. So I'm going to be printing this vase I found on Thingiverse. It's called the Julia vase. It's got kind of a neat look to it. The filament I'm using is the Yusu Tangle Free Silk PLA Pearlescent 3D filament. So this is like a white filament, has a little bit of a pearlescence to it. I haven't really dialed this in on my printer, but for what I'm doing in this video, it won't be a big issue. I've had some stringiness with some test prints on it, and I can probably adjust the settings to get rid of those. But the way we're printing this today, it will print in one single filament, so I won't have to deal with the stringiness from retracting and stuff. Okay, so I have the model loaded into Cura. I want to select it, and I'm going to resize this a little bit. I have uniform scaling selected. I'm going to change this to 101.6, and that will be four inches. And then I'll go to my settings up here, and I want my infill to be set to zero. I have supports turned off, adhesion turned off. It's set to 0.2 millimeters. Then I want to go to custom, and I want to search for spiral here. And we have the special modes and we have the spiralized outer contour and I have that checked and I also have the smooth spiralized contours checked. So that is like a vase mode. So what this is going to do is it's going to lay down a single bead of filament for the whole print. So I'll close this, I'll hit slice. It says it's going to take one hour and 32 minutes and it's going to cost 34 cents. So I'll save this file. I'll go into my web browser where I have Octoprint. I made a video on that. You can find that in my playlist. I'll go down here and say Upload. I'll upload the vase. I'll click Print on it. And I'll start printing. Okay, this is doing the first layer here. And you'll see it'll go right across and it'll lay filament down kind of diagonally. You'll see that line there. And that's because it's not retracting. And that's kind of a feature of this. Now, it looks kind of ugly here, but you won't see this part. You won't see any seams on the outer edges when it's finished, and I'll show you in the end what it looks like. Okay, so the base is completed, and it's doing the rim now, and it's doing this in a single width of filament, and it looks like it's kind of falling over almost, but that's just the shape of the base itself. So when this gets up a little higher, I'll show you a little bit more, and you can really see the shape take hold. So now it's a little more evident as to what it's doing. You can see the pattern start to form. Okay, the print has completed, so I'll take this off the bed now. There we go, came off pretty cleanly. Okay, so here's the final print. It turned out pretty good. I did have one flaw right here. I'm not sure exactly what caused that. The rest of it looks okay. There are a couple little kind of bumpy areas in here mixed in, but they're not bad. But it's really cool looking. So you can see here on the bottom, I'll see if that's focused in. It looks pretty good. There's a little cross mark right there. If we can look inside, I don't know if that'll show up on camera. I'm gonna get a light. You can kind of see the stringiness on the bottom there. There's kind of like a, kind of a TP shape right there. So that is one downside of printing this way, but usually that's not gonna be a huge issue. The whole point is that people can see it from the outside. It looks really nice. There's no seam going up and down this thing because when you're printing with traditional settings, you can have it go around and then it will jump up a layer and you can kind of see a 
seam going up through it. Here's an example I did of something else. I don't know if I can get this to show up, but there's a line right here. It's not really showing up on camera very well, but you can tell when it went up a layer. So I really like the look of this filament. It's shiny looking, it's pearlescent. Another thing you can do with this is you can shine a light in it and have it glow. Let me turn off my backlight here. You got to be careful with this. You wouldn't want to put like a halogen light in here because it would probably catch on fire. But this is a LED flashlight and it gives a pretty cool effect. So these are kind of fun to watch too because the print head just you know makes the revolutions around here. So that is the spiral outer contour mode or vase mode on the Cura printed on the FL Sun Q5. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.